Barack Obama violated the Logan Act once again. Former President Obama met with South Korea's new leader right after he returned from the meeting with President Trump. According to the Korea of Herald, President Moon Jae-in renewed his resolve to pursue sanctions and dialogue to tackle North Korea's nuclear program during a meeting with former U.S. President Barack Obama on Monday, saying now is the last chance for the regime to return to the negotiating table. During the 40-minute talk, Moon shared the results of his recent summit with his incumbent U.S. counterpart Donald Trump asking for Obama's advice on ways to advance the relationship. This could be seen as a violation of the Logan Act as defined by Cornell Law School, any citizen of the United States, wherever he may be, who, without authority of the United States, directly or indirectly commences or carries on any correspondence or intercourse with any foreign government or any officer or agent thereof, with intent to influence the measures or conduct of any foreign government or of any officer or agent thereof, in relation to any disputes or controversies with the United States, or to defeat the measures of the United States, shall be fined under this title, or imprisoned not more than three years, or both. Nonetheless, the Logan Act is so-called a dead letter, that is a law, that remains technically on the books, but is essentially invalid or powerless. A study the Congressional Research Service published in 2015 stated that nobody has ever been prosecuted under the statute and found only one case of an indictment under the law. In 1803, the United States attorney in Kentucky from a grand jury collected a case where a Kentucky farmer who had written an article in support of creating a separate nation in the territory west of the fledgling United States that would be an ally to France was brought to court, but eventually the prosecutor dropped the case. A recent draft scholarly paper shared online by a federal appeals court law clerk found a second apparent such indictment involving the reported arrest in 1852 of a man who wrote a letter to the president of Mexico. And YT believed that Michael Flynn should be prosecuted under the Logan Act, but never said anything about Obama. That is odd, right? If Obama doesn't stop meddling in delicate negotiations between the USA and other nations, he should be prosecuted under the Logan Act. Please share this post on Facebook if you think Obama should be prosecuted under the Logan Act. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe 24 Hours channel. Goodbye and see you again.